In this video, we're going to use Sorcom Harvest and Sorcom Lagoon to securely send data from the Raspberry Pi about the scooter and visualize it on a map. Without further ado, let's dive in. So first, on the Sorcom console, we need to enable Harvest, which is Sorcom's way of collecting data securely from their SIM. We go into Groups on the menu and click on the e-scooter e group that we created last time by registering the SIM. Scroll down to Harvest and turn that on. As you can see, it gives you an entry point, which we'll use later. Save that. For this step, we'll need to clone the GitHub repository that we've created for the scooter. So go to the GitHub page, press clone or download, and copy and paste the GitHub link. Then, in the Raspberry Pi terminal, clone it. Move into the folder by typing cd and the GitHub repository name. For Python to run our module, we'll have to install some required Python packages. We already set up this Raspberry Pi beforehand, so many of the requirements are already satisfied. Now we need the Bluetooth MAC address of the scooter. To do that, we can grab it from part one and change this MAC address on this line. Save the file. After you make sure the scooter is on, you can now ask Python to run the harvest.py file. This file will use Bluetooth to connect with the scooter, collect data, and post it to Soricom Harvest. As you can see, it's now printing out all the data it's getting from the scooter. When we go back to Soricom's console, we can click on Data Storage and Visualization and open up the Harvest data. Under the drop-down list of the sims you added to your account, you can turn on Auto Refresh and see the data stream in. And now we have Harvest data. Now that we have data from Soricom Harvest, we'll need to visualize it somehow. Luckily, Soricom has their own service called Lagoon, so we don't have to hand off our data to some third-party service. To access that, click on Data Storage and Visualization in the menu in Lagoon. If you're doing this for the first time, I'll ask you to sign up, but since we've already signed up for Lagoon, just open the console. In a Lagoon console, we'll have to make a new dashboard to visualize our data. First, we'll add a map panel so we can know exactly where our scooter is. Let's do that with the menu and scroll down to Soricom map panel. We can edit this, adding a new data source for harvest, selecting map for what our metric is going to be. Since our data is already formatted to latitude and longitude, so we can just select latitude and longitude in the drop down menu and return to the dashboard. To add a new graph, we can just click Graph and Edit. This graph will help visualize our battery so we know exactly when our battery drops to a certain percentage. Again, click Harvest with the battery. The data point for the battery is pretty small, but that's because we only have a couple data points for that. If we want to add an alert for the battery, we can just go over to the Alert tab Press create alert. Now if the battery goes below a certain percentage, it will send us alert. To customize that, we can switch average to last of the last hour and switch above to below. And if it's below 1% battery, it should send us an alert. Now to test that rule, click the test rule button and I'll, I'll say false because none of the battery reported points are below 1%, but if we change it to 100 and test it again, we'll see that it's true, since our battery is all below 100%. Change it back to 1, now we can save. Under the notifications tab, we'll change how we're going to receive these notifications. We can just add our email in. And I'll save automatically. Going back to the dashboard, we can also add a table which will help show 
the data in its raw form. Again, select Harvest as the data source. We can add a new column for each part of our data collected. Now we have the time, speed, location, and the battery of the scooter. Again, we can save and return to the dashboard. Now we have three panels, each with different information about the scooter. Now that we've added a table, a graph, and a map to Starcom Lagoon, I hope that you can see how easy it is to set up data collection and visualization through SORCOM services. Join us next time in this multi-part series where we'll add remote management to our electric scooter through SORCOM Napter.